What's going on everybody? King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another Big Bad Toy Store unboxing video and I don't know if you guys can see this but this is a really big box. Uh, I just woke up this morning and the box was right here. So we have the box, we have a big box, we have a lot of stuff to go through so let's actually get started. As always I've already removed the tag so you guys don't see where I live. It's not that I don't trust anybody, it's that I don't trust anybody. But anyway, let's actually take a look at what we got in here because we do have quite a bit. So first off, you can already see at the top right here, we do have the SH Figure Arts Ultra Instinct Goku, which is one figure that when it hits my pile of loot, I was like, okay, this thing is getting shipped this weekend. And it just so happened that a lot of other things came in with him, so really happy that I do have Ultra Instinct Goku in hand him off to the side. We also do have the NECA Judgment Day 2, or Terminator from Judgment Day 2, or Terminator 2 Judgment Day, I don't know why I can't speak today. It's hot, forgive me. Really was looking forward to getting this particular Terminator, so really happy I have the T-800 Mr. Ger Governator right here. Looks really nice, can't wait to get that open. We do have the man, the myth, the legend himself, Jushin Thunder Liger, which is one figure I've been really looking forward to. Uh, when they announced, when Storm announced they were going to be doing the Jushin Thunder Liger, I absolutely knew I had to have it, and he looks beautiful in the packaging. I cannot wait to get him open because he looks like he's going to be a really good figure. Also from Big Bad Toy Store, moving over to the anime side of things, we do have Aqua, the goddess of the afterlife from Konosuba, God's Wonderful Blessing on This Life. Really funny anime, I really do recommend you check it out. Um, be aware that it does have a lot of adult jokes in it, so it's not an anime for children, but really liking those faces. Can't wait to get Aqua open. Despite the fact she's so useless, I think she's a hilarious character. Moving her off to the side. We do have another Baby Yoda, or the child. I don't know if Disney's lawyers will come after me and really loving this particular version of the child. Uh, as you guys saw in my Kingdom Amazon unboxing, I did get the electronic Hasbro version. This is the Mattel version, and you know what? I kind of like the Mattel version a little better. The eyes just look so much nicer. I might do a review on this guy. Uh, if there's enough support for Baby Yoda reviews, let me know. I'll review him, because he looks so adorable. Just look at that face. Who doesn't love Baby Yoda? Communist, that's who. But anyway, continuing on with this unboxing, because we do have a lot of stuff to go through. From the world of Jurassic Park, we do have the Amber Collection Velociraptor Charlie, which she looks really nice. Really glad that the headgear is an optional attachment, that it's not a permanent fixture. Really liking the fact that Charlie is green. She did have a green hue in the movie. So really loving that, and we do have a picture of Charlie right there. Moving her off to the side, we do have her sister, Velociraptor Blue, who has become Jurassic World's staple icon. You can see they did a really good job on Blue. I've been wanting to pick up some Velociraptors for some time, because they are my favorite dinosaur, and ooh, just really loving this. I am glad that Mattel is making articulated, fully articulated dinosaurs. I do appreciate that, so thank you, Mattel. Then we have not one, not two, but three of the classic Velociraptors from Jurassic Park. Now, I picked up three just because I like army building and raptors attack in threes. That's the way I grew up on it, and that's the way I'm keeping it in. There she is, the clever girl. So we do have three Jurassic Park Tradition or classic Velociraptors with their br brown color scheme. I do feel like it's a little bit dark right here, but that's not for me to decide. All three do look good, and a review for all these will be coming up, so do be patient about this. Really loving those Raptors. The final thing in here is from Street Fighter, the Storm Collectibles Street Fighter 2 Ultra Final Challengers Edition. 
Ken and Ryu. I already spoiled it, but Ken looks really good. Ken is my favorite Street Fighter character, so I am glad that he is in the game. We have silly side art of Ken right here. Some images on the back of what he can do. So really looking forward to getting Ken out of the box. And then we do have best friend Ryu here. Which I do play Ryu and Ken in Smash Brothers, so having them along with Terry is kind of cool. If only they can do a Ganondorf, that would be exciting for me. Really cannot wait to get these guys opened up, and you can see his headband's already falling out of the packaging. At least they're still there. So yeah, really looking forward to getting all these opened up and reviewed for you guys. So that's gonna do it for this unboxing from Big Bad Toy Story. I am really glad that they did send this out really fast. I actually did just have everything shipped out last week actually. I got the shipping notification on Monday and here they are on Saturday. So really, really happy with the fast shipping and I didn't even have to worry about it. They came and they all look really nice. So with that being said guys, I'm King of Dragons 5000. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, go check out all my other action figure reviews as well as all my other unboxing videos. Hopefully these entertain you guys enough to have you guys come back and see more. As always, if there's a figure you'd like to see me review, or just something you want to see me unbox, just let me know down in the comments and if it fits in my collection, or if I have time for it, I will definitely do it. And as always, check out my Instagram account for new and exciting action figure photos, and as always, ring that bell to be notified every time I upload a video. And I do apologize if you hear my AC unit in the background. It is like 100 degrees where I live, so... The AC needs to be on, but with that being said, guys, take care, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys later.